Welcome to the Visio Me Perita tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build a map, publish a map. When we edit our map using Visio Me Perita, we're editing the master version of the map. The master version uses a VisiGlobe proprietary format that is readable by Visio Me Perita. The goal is to be able to visualize the map using different media types, such as smartphones, websites, kiosks, printed brochures. It's possible to build the map into a format that is compatible with these other platforms. To build the map for different platforms, we click on the Build button, which is available from the menu view. Within the Build window that appears, there are several platforms that we can build for. In this example, we're going to build the map for Visio Move, Visio Kiosk, and Visio Web 2D. The Visio Move platform builds the map for the Visio Move SDK, which is available for Android and iOS. When we click the Build button, the local version of the map is uploaded to the cloud for building. The Visio Globe Builder interprets the master map and generates the specialized map bundles for each of the requested platforms. The map bundle is a term we use to refer to all the packaged map assets. Visio provides the SDK per platform that you can integrate into your application. It's the SDK that will use the built map bundle in order to visualize the map within your final application. Once the map has been built, we can preview it. In this tutorial, we'll preview the Visio Kiosk platform. We can do that in our web browser by clicking on the View button. Viewing the Visio Kiosk version of the map, we see that it's in 3D and we can move the camera and verify that the changes we made appear correctly. The built version is an unlicensed version of the map. This means that after a certain period of time, the map will eventually expire. So, when we're happy with our changes and we want them to be available from within the final product, we perform a publish. The publish takes an already built version of the map, so an existing map bundle, and relocates it to a predefined location within the Visio map server. The map bundle is then given a production license, so without any expiry date. Your application will be connected to the Visio map server and will be able to immediately access the latest version of your map. That's all for building and publishing the map. Thanks for watching.